everyone, Sean Frangella here with a new episode of Motion Tutorials about how to use the new Premiere feature for adding morph cut, morph, 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 morph cuts. So morph cuts or the morph dissolve effect is a new feature in Premiere to fix little screw ups like that. If you have interview footage or cuts where someone's not moving a lot, but their dialogue has a little hiccup and you need to cut out a little pause, but you don't want it to look all jumpy. It's a really useful feature for that sort of thing. And let's dive into Premiere and I'll show you how it works and how you can use it in your workflow. So here we are in Premiere in a, a sequence and I'm editing this intro of myself introducing this tutorial, which is kind of weird in itself. But here's our issue. There was a pause from this part of the dialogue to here. And we want to cut that out, but we don't have to jump visually because we'll notice that. So what we can do is get our razor tool with the C key and I'll just make a cut here and here and I'll just delete that extra and drag this over. Now, of course, what's going to happen is if I scrub through from here to here, there's that jump. My face goes down a little and we need to fix that. And the morph cut effect, which is new to 2015, is a good way to address that. If I go to effects and type in morph, we'll see morph cut is under the video transitions and I'll drag this on. And similar to the warp stabilizer or camera tracking, it's going to analyze that in the background and give me a result. So once that's done, it is a rendered effect. So we'll need to render out this little area. So I'll just change my work area to just this little transition and press enter to render. And now that it's done rendering, we can take a look and scrub through and it does a pretty good job. You can see it's taking the end of this first clip and beginning of the second clip and blending the movement of the elements of each shot together over this amount of time. And if we click this and take a look at the effect, it works similar to other video transitions like a dissolve. So if we know it's just a little jump, we can actually make this shorter by dragging in and then just re-render. And it's gonna take less of the frame and you can see that's a little too jumpy right there. So we'd probably wanna back that up and keep it as is. And if we know that we wanna take less from the end of this clip and more from the beginning of here, if maybe that's where the movement is, I can also hold shift and just drag in one end of it and again, re-render. And that way I can have a little more control over what frames it's blending together for this. And you can see it does a pretty good job. It's a really nice little additional effect that can be really useful for these sorts of things when you're editing intros of yourself talking in front of a computer, or if you have interview footage and you don't want to cut to B-roll, but you don't want to use something noticeable like just a crossfade. So I hope you enjoyed this little premiere quick tip of this new morph cut feature. You can let me know what you think of the tutorials on Twitter. I'm at Sean Frangella and be sure to subscribe for all sorts of tutorials on my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Sean Frangella. And if you want to check out other video editing, motion graphics and 3D animation tutorials, you can check out some of the other tutorials up there on my channel and learn about all sorts of stuff in the motion graphics and video field. Thanks for watching and I will see you at the next video. Do you like watching these tutorials and want to see more episodes more often? You can help keep the show going by lending your support on Patreon at patreon.com slash seanfrangella. More importantly, if you want to throw in a couple extra bucks, you can get bonus content like project files used in the tutorials, answers to direct questions, live hangouts for questions, and even request specific tutorial topics for me to use for my next video. Also be sure to subscribe to the show by clicking the subscribe button or visiting the show homepage at youtube.com slash seanfrangella. And if you're hip with social media and have a question about this tutorial, you can find me on Twitter at seanfrangella. As always, thanks for watching and I will see you at the next video.